I beseech thee, show me thy glory. Exodus 33, verse 18. It is our privilege to reach high and still higher for clearer revealings of the character of God. When Moses prayed, I beseech thee, show me thy glory, the Lord did not rebuke him, but granted his prayer. It is sin that darkens our minds and dims our perceptions. As sin is purged from our hearts, the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ, illuminating his word and reflecting from the face of nature, more and more fully will declare him merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth. In his light shall we see light until mind and heart and soul are transformed into the image of his holiness. For those who thus lay hold on the divine assurances of God's word, there are wonderful possibilities. Before them lie vast fields of truth, vast resources of power. Glorious things are to be revealed. Privileges and duties which they do not even suspect to be in the Bible will be made manifest. All who walk in the path of humble obedience, fulfilling his purpose, will know more and more of the oracles of God. The precious faith inspired of God imparts strength and nobility of character. As his goodness, his mercy, and his love are dwelt upon, clearer and still clearer will be the perception of truth, higher, holier, the desire for purity of heart and clearness of thought. The soul dwelling in the pure atmosphere of holy thought is transformed by interaction with God through the study of His Word. Truth is so large, so far-reaching, so deep, so broad, that self is lost sight of. The heart is softened and subdued into humility, kindness, and love, and the natural powers are enlarged because of holy obedience.